Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetanesh Nuri and today we're going to review the Car HD ROM for the Galaxy S6 Edge and before we get started I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1000 subscriber. So now let's get into it. So the ROM is based on the Galaxy S6 Edge's firmware and it is themed like the S8 and at some places and the ROM also comes with the S8's launcher as you can see and it is just fantastic. I really love the S8's launcher because it is really simple and it is really elegant and all so it is really great and the ROM comes with this S6 Edge's icons and the widgets so you do not get the s8 widgets or the icons but surprisingly enough the rom does come with the google assistant which is a lot of fun i really love the google assistant and it is just fun to play with the google assistant and see what it does and as you can see it goes on so the rom also comes with the bixby and despite many tries to get Bixby voice running on it I just couldn't seem to get it working on any ROM or on the original firmware as well so I don't think the Bixby voice is working right now so that is not the really the fault of the ROM but Bixby is working and the Bixby voice is not working so in the app drawer which is from the S8 you have pretty familiar applications and now we have seen that the ROM is really fast and experiences no lag at all so as you can see we do not experience any lag and I've already turned out the animation scales which I always recommend by going into the developers option and going down and reducing the window animation scale and all the scales down to 0.5x which is default as the animation scale 1x so i always recommend reducing the animation scales down to 0.5x which makes a huge difference and makes the device seem a lot faster than it is so the rom comes with this application all in one gestures so what it does is it add gestures in rom so that you can perform gestures and do whatever you want so as you can see if i enable the status bar um, gestures over here you do need to enable this application from the accessibility so let's go ahead and do that so now we have enabled the all-in-one gestures from the accessibilities and when we turn it on if i uh, enable this single tap on the status bar to screen off and so you can set the action over here so let's do status bar all right then i think quick settings okay so you can change the options over here and one day it will stop loading and it will work so let's try and get out of the app and then come back to it so if i just single tap on the status bar you have the quick settings and I don't know why it's not working but it does work sometimes in the recent apps you have small shortcuts over here which you can add and remove according to your needs you have an application over here which do not work so it comes with the ROM you can just remove it and then you have the Dolby Atmos which is a good equalizer app but I would still recommend and I would still go with the Viper for Android because Viper for Android is on a whole another level and the Viper for Android can do much more than the Dolby Atmos or any other application out there. 
so I would still go with the wipe of Android. Then you have the app called Root Switch, which is an app which toggles between if the device is rooted or not. If you disable this, the the applications will not get the super su permissions. And if I enable this, you can then choose to grant applications the super user permissions. And lastly, you have the S8 Live wallpaper which only has one wallpaper and which is right over here which I have set right now that is that and you can enable the game launcher and all from the settings so the Volti is not working in this ROM so for all the Geo Volti users I have already made a video about the fix and it is a really simple fix and the link to the video will be right over here please do check it out if you want a working Volti E and it is just simple just follow the video and you will get the working Volti E so let's go into the display settings now and as you can see that there is the blue light filter and it does work and it is one of my favorite features and the ROM does not come with the always on display as you can see you do not have the always on display and let's check the night lock and this is the one thing I didn't check and I wanted to check in front of you let's check the night lock and let's see if it works so the night lock is working and in most of the roms that are based on the s6 edges firmware the night lock works so that is a great thing so i think all the advanced features are working along with the game tools and game launcher and the one handed mode all of them are working and let me show you the one handed mode and it does work as you can see it is working so that is great as well moving on to the battery life i would say that the battery life is good to great on this drum and it will comfortably last you a whole day and that is a great thing but the phone does get a little bit warm if you use it continuously so that is the thing with this rom so you get all the battery saving modes in this rom the mid the maximum but you cannot change the display resolution and the max power saving mode is my favorite because it saves a lot of battery and i have used my device with 7 to 8 percent battery life on the maximum power saving mode for more than three hours so that is just great and let's go into the about device so you have the android version 7.0 which makes this rom having google assistant all the more more impressive so that is a great thing and as you can see the, the rom is based on the s6 edges firmware and that is a great thing too so finally i would just say that the rom is great you have a great battery life the rom is fast and you do not experience any lag the ok google works you have the google assistant you have the bixby you have all the features that you need and i would definitely recommend this for daily usage because it is a great rom and before using it i i didn't think i would say this but the rom is really great and i would definitely recommend this rom for the daily usage so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys